Okay guys, so we are back here and we're building our set and we're going to pick one of these boxes. I actually like this one the most. And if you want to know how we made those, you can go back to the other map. I mean, not the other map. What am I saying? I don't know. Maybe this one's too small. The other video and see how I made that. I like... Eh. Eh. Okay, yeah, we'll use this one. So pretty much what we're doing now is we're going to... We're gonna make the interior pretty, and there's a couple. Of, there's a bunch of little things we can do. And first of all, I'm gonna add textures to these walls and stuff, just to make it a little better. And what I'm gonna actually be using only content that's in the content that you guys have, and not the because I have Mass Effect and Gears of War three stuff, and or not Gears of War three. Sorry, <laughs> I don't have Gears of War three stuff. Don't worry. Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 1. So what we can do is usually the best place to find any kind of good map building stuff is either in environments or what you can do is go up to, go up to shared collections, which are all gone for me for some weird reason. Huh, that's weird. Okay, we're just going to search floor. So we can do is search floor. And it brings up a whole bunch of different materials. And you need to use a material to apply to different surfaces because textures are what make up materials. So don't be fooled by that. If you bring something up and it's <clears throat> it says texture 2D, that cannot be applied in game. That is only to be used with the material editor in setting up a material. So let's grab... Uh, yeah, we'll grab this thing right here. So this material, if you search... Go to environments and search floor, and it'll bring up this one as the first one. What you do is you drag it and drop, and give it a second to load. Apparently, so yeah, there we go. That's that floor, and as you can see, it's already pre-tiled and stuff as, because I stretched it out. So we won't worry about that right now because we'll get a wall, wall, and so that one, that one. Huh, which one should I use? Yeah, this one right here. So we'll apply it. You have to apply it to every surface too. So remember that. So we'll just drag and drop on each one. You can also click on surfaces, like copy, <clears throat> and then click on that one and control click on all the other ones. And you can paste here or just a because it's saying apply material because I have it selected in the content browser. But if you paste it, it's gonna put paste all the properties. So now we need to get now. Ooh, what's that? Is that a wall? So let's let's search ceiling. Ceiling. <clears throat> and if we want to narrow it down, I don't really have much as far as ceilings. Um, so we'll just use another wall texture or wall material. Sorry. And that one right there. Okay. So there we go. We have a, we, okay. So we have all the materials on the walls. And it looks like garbage right now because there's no lighting. And what we need to do now is make sure the textures look somewhat aligned or scaled correctly. And that's where this texture tool comes in. So you can actually align the textures different ways. And either that or you can rotate them and scale them. So you want them really big or really small and repeated. Because usually textures for walls and floors are actually like made to tile so they'll line up really well so you just gotta find the alignment and I think I have it over here um, let's see here I don't know why that's not working I can't remember stupid texture so yeah just get a basic just get it basically lined up to a good you know size that you want a good size the floor usually needs to I usually want that a little smaller should be good. Yeah, that's better because this is about how high you stand. So this is a big random room. I'll actually make this a lot smaller. Whoosh. So you can actually see the tiling a little better when I shrink it that much. I'll actually... There we go. That's good. Okay, so we have this room all coated in various materials and it's looking a little better. It's still pretty bad though. <clears throat> what we need to do now is... for Remember, this is... I need to keep reminding you guys because I don't want to. I want to. I really want to stress this. This is for machinima making only. And if you're planning on making a game level, you're gonna want to go into this a lot more. But this, remember, this is machinima, so we can 
bare bones pretty much everything and get by with it so all you need pretty much is a nice simple room and next thing we do is we add different static meshes and what we do by doing that is we'll go to the content browser and I think I'm actually gonna end the video here so it'll be a little shorter because <clears throat> I know the static mesh one's gonna be a lot longer so I mean in the video here make sure to go in just look browse through the different materials and just mess around with it you just place materials down maybe you go in and make another BSP room and you can figure out different things you want to make you know you know we can make a box in the middle here or something and it's it just works out really good so just mess around with the materials a little bit and what you can do is wait for the next video which I'll talk about static meshes and stuff so see you guys in the next video Woo!